In this video, we're going to set up the Fibonacci spiral, and we're going to use our square tool to do that. That's a custom tool we made in our last video. So briefly review that, and um, you'll be ready to deal in an easy way with creating this spiral. So how do we do this? Well, let me clear this off. Set it up so we can start over. The first thing I'm going to do is, on my view, bring up my axes and my grid, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. That's going to help me create squares with areas of certain lengths. I click on my square tool right here. My first square is going to have a side length of 1. So when you hover over um, 1, 0 and click, it'll give you that point. To give it a side length of 1, then click on 2, 0, for example. Using the square tool, it creates a square and check over here that the points do indeed give you a square of side length 1. Now that we have that set up, we can easily create another square with the same area by hovering over the points. Remember the Fibonacci sequence goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so forth. So we're building that with squares, are, square areas. So here's squares 1 and 1. Now we need a square of 2. And we'll put that over here. So our square of 2, right, goes from negative 1 all the way up to 1, 0. And there's our third square. So the next square will have side lanes of 2. So I'm going to click here on 2, 0, and then hover over 4, 0. And it creates the next square. And again, you might want to check the points here as they're created to make sure they are going where you want them to. So we have 1, 1, 2, and now a square of 3. Using our square tool again, we get that square, move over a little bit to see it, and there it is. And now we need a square of side lengths 5. So what I'll do is I'll go over 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to negative 4, 0. Clicking there, and at 1, 0, we get the next square. And now we're almost done. Now, I could click on these points to create the next square, but notice I have to reverse the order. So far, you might have noticed I've been clicking on the left point and then the right point. If I click the right point and then the left point, it'll generate a square that goes down. So I'll zoom it out to see that. So there's our next square, and now we need one more. Right? The next square I have side lanes of 13. Look at the sequence. We went 1, 1, 2, 3, and then 5, and then 8, and then 5 and 8. Gives you squares, a square of side 13. So this one might be a little bit trickier because I, I have to estimate a little bit. But I'm going to go from 4 up 13 spaces to 17. Try to get that exactly. Oops, I have to go back to my square tool. So my first point on 4, negative 8. And the next one at 17. Right, 13 spaces to the right, negative 8. And notice it didn't give me that exactly, point Q. Not a big deal, just double click it and adjust. So for 17.02, I turn it to 17 and negative 8.03, I make that negative 8. And now the points should line up. But notice it didn't move. So I'll enter that again. You want to make sure that works. Okay, hit enter. And there it goes. So now it's set up. Um, so what I'm going to do though is I have to use another, this is a really cool tool. I have to use my circular arc with center between two point tool. So it's just a simple tool that starts with a center point, you tell it a center, and then you tell it where to generate the arc from what point to the other. So this is my first center right here. Right? So the arc's gonna revolve around this point and I want it to go from here to this vertex. And then using the same center I want it to go from here down to this point. So I click it in that order. Now here, you imagine the spiral going again, it's going to spiral up this way. That means this point will be our center, and I want to go from this vertex to this one. It's going to spiral up here now, so I want this to be my new center, going from this point to this vertex. Spiraling down this way, I want my center to be here, it's revolving around this point, and going from here down here. And this square, this is my center. I'm going from here all the way down. And then the last square, this will be my center. 
and I'm going from this vertex to the one up here. Now to neaten this up a little bit, there are lots of things we can do. I want to turn off my axes and turn off my grid. I also want to hit Control or Command E to open the object properties, and I'm going to click on the point tab to select all the points at once. I don't want to see the points, so I go to basic and I don't want to show them. What that does, it cleans it up a little bit only to show the squares. And what I might do is go back to my object properties and select all the arcs at once by clicking arc. Go to color, may change the color. For style, may change the line thickness. I can even change the line style. But the point is you want to highlight the spiral. So you can manipulate that and make it up, make it a little bit neater through the object properties. Alright, hope this helped.